The recent launch of Vulcan rocket was a significant event in the space industry marking a key moment for United Launch Alliance. This launch was seen as a direct challenge to SpaceX's dominance in the rocket launch market. However, the mission didn't go entirely as planned. Although the Vulcan rocket successfully launched, the payload it carried did not reach its intended destination. Following the Vulcan rocket failure, NASA appears deeply disappointed that no other company has rockets as good as SpaceX, which is a big win for SpaceX. Before we get deep into this development, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more news and updates about what's happening in the space industry. United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket marked its entry into space in early January 2024. This rocket is the culmination of over a century of collective launch experience, drawing from the legacy of the Atlas and Delta rockets. Vulcan stands at a height of approximately 200 feet, slightly shorter than SpaceX's Starship, which is about 400 feet tall when including the Super Heavy booster. The Vulcan is powered by the new BE-4 engines using liquid oxygen and liquefied natural gas as propellants. The rocket's first stage is designed to be reusable. However, unlike the fully reusable Starship, Vulcan's reuse strategy focuses on its engines, which are the most expensive component. ULA plans to recover these engines mid-air using a helicopter, a method that is yet to be tested in a real-world scenario. In terms of payload capacity, the Vulcan can deliver up to 35 tons to low Earth orbit, which is less than the Starship's impressive 100-ton capacity to the same orbit. However, the Vulcan's strength lies in its versatility. It is designed for a wide range of missions, from placing small satellites into precise orbits to launching interplanetary missions. Returning to our main topic, the recent failure of the Peregrine Lunar Lander mission is expected to influence NASA's future choice of rocket providers for similar lunar missions. The Peregrine Lander, which was launched aboard United Launch Alliance's new Vulcan rocket, encountered propulsion system issues after separating from the rocket. This problem prevented the spacecraft from angling itself toward the sun for power, leading to a loss of valuable propellant and jeopardizing the mission's primary objective of a soft lunar landing. This incident marks a significant disappointment for NASA, as the Peregrine Lander was a key component of the U.S. soft lunar landing attempt for the first time in over 50 years. This has led to speculation about NASA's future launch choices, with SpaceX's Falcon 9 being a potential alternative. SpaceX has gained attention with its reusable boosters and ambitious projects, offering a different approach compared to ULA's more traditional rockets. The Vulcan's entry into the market is a strategic move by ULA to challenge SpaceX's growing dominance in the space launch market. SpaceX's Starship, with its higher payload capacity and full reusability, targets a broad range of missions including Mars colonization. One of the critical aspects where United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket aims to compete with SpaceX's Starship is in cost efficiency and reliability. ULA has a long-standing reputation for reliability, which is crucial for sensitive and high-value payloads. A significant advantage that Vulcan currently holds over the Starship is its operational status and its ability to secure contracts from reputable companies, such as Amazon. This operational readiness is a considerable asset in the competitive space launch market. In contrast, other heavy-lift rockets like SpaceX's Starship and Blue Origin's New Glenn are still in the development phase, with their operational debut several months or even years away. Starship had conducted two significant flight tests as part of its orbital campaign. The first orbital flight test took place on April 20, 2023, which ended in the destruction of the vehicle. Following this, the second integrated flight test of Starship occurred on November 18, 2023. Both of these tests ended in explosions, but they were still considered essential steps in the development process by SpaceX. This development and testing phase of the Starship contrasts with ULA's Vulcan rocket, which is already operational and taking contracts. ULA plans to conduct a weekly launch rate to meet growing customer demands, with over 70 Vulcan launches already sold. Here is the thing, though. While SpaceX continues to develop the Starship, they can rely on the Falcon 9 rocket to compete with other companies. 
The Falcon 9 stands as a formidable asset for SpaceX. This rocket has demonstrated remarkable frequency in its launches. In 2022, Falcon 9 set a new record with 60 successful launches in a single calendar year, surpassing the previous record held by the Soyuz rocket in 1979. The Falcon 9 family continued to break records in 2023 with an impressive 96 successful launches in one year, outdoing the R7 rocket family's record from 1980. The Falcon 9 rocket is also the world's first orbital class reusable rocket, capable of safely transporting people and payloads into Earth orbit and beyond. The rocket has a height of 70 meters and can carry a payload of up to 22,800 kilograms to low Earth orbit. Falcon 9's first stage incorporates nine Merlin engines that generate more than 1.7 million pounds of thrust at sea level. The rocket has achieved a high success rate in landing its first stage boosters with a 96% success rate overall, and an even more impressive 98.4% for the Falcon 9 Block 5 version. This reusability aspect has not only proven economical, but also highlighted SpaceX's innovative approach to space technology. What's really interesting is that we can never guess what Musk will do next. For example, he recently captured headlines by revealing something totally unexpected. He announced the development of Starship Version 3, an ambitious upgrade to their already impressive rocket. This new version stands out with its remarkable height, estimated to reach 150 meters, making it 25% taller than Version 1 and about 20 meters higher than Version 2. The progression from Starship Version 2 to Version 3 is expected to see significant improvements. One of the most notable is the increase in payload lift capacity. While Version 2 could carry approximately 100 metric tons, Version 3 is projected to lift more than 200 metric tons per flight. This leap in capability positions the Starship as a true behemoth in space logistics. To put this into perspective, the Falcon 9 can launch up to 60 Starlink satellites in one go, each weighing about 260 kilograms. This totals to roughly 15.6 metric tons per launch. On the other hand, with a capacity of over 200 metric tons, Starship Version 3 could carry over 770 Starlink satellites in a single mission. This is more than 12 times the number that Falcon 9 can deploy, showing a huge jump in payload capacity. There has never been a rocket as powerful as Starship Version 3. The closest one in terms of payload capacity is the Saturn V rocket, used by NASA during the Apollo programs. The Saturn V, renowned for its role in the Apollo moon landings, had a maximum payload capacity of about 140 metric tons, which is impressive but still falls short of the 200 metric ton capacity envisioned for Starship version 3. SpaceX is not only focusing on creating a larger rocket with Starship version 3, but also recognizes the need for more powerful engines to support this increase in size. The bigger the rocket, the greater the thrust required for liftoff and maneuvering in space. Although the current Raptor 2 engines are among the best in the industry, they might not be sufficiently powerful for the demands of the Version 3 Starship. The Raptor 2 engines currently produce 230 tons of thrust. However, with the advancements in Starship's design, Especially in terms of size and payload capacity, there's a growing need for even more powerful engines. This is where the Raptor 3 engines come into play. First tested in May 2023, the Raptor 3 represents a significant step forward, boasting a 17% improvement in thrust, reaching approximately 269 tons. The development of the Raptor 3 engines suggests that SpaceX is on a path to upgrade and enhance its engine even further. This naturally leads to speculation about a future Raptor 4 engine. If the trend of improvements continues, a Raptor 4 engine could offer even greater thrust, further boosting the capabilities of the Starship platform. And interestingly, SpaceX is gearing up for its third test flight, which will use the robust Raptor 3 engines. The Starship Super Heavy Booster, equipped with these Raptor 3 engines, will have a remarkable total thrust of 9,000 tons, substantially more than the Saturn V rocket's thrust. The Starship Super Heavy Booster with Raptor 3 engines will achieve approximately 2.5 times the thrust of the Saturn V, 
SpaceX is targeting February for this third Starship test flight. However, it's worth noting that Musk's ambitious timelines have historically been subject to delays. Therefore, it's possible that the third Starship launch might also face similar delays. One of the critical factors that could influence the launch date is the granting of a launch license by the Federal Aviation Administration. For this launch, the mission goes beyond simply lifting off as they did with the first and second Starship launches. This time, they are set to demonstrate a propellant transfer. The propellant transfer technology involves transferring fuel from one spacecraft to another in orbit. This is a complex process, especially with cryogenic propellants like those used in Starship. Successfully demonstrating this technology would be a significant milestone for SpaceX. During the test flight, SpaceX plans to transfer cryogenic propellant from a header tank within Starship to its main tank. This ability to refuel in space is critical for deep space missions, as it would allow spacecraft to top up their fuel tanks while on long-duration journeys, extending their range and capabilities. As SpaceX continues to launch Starship Version 1, they are also preparing for the production of Starship Version 3. This involves setting up a new facility specifically designed for the increased demands of manufacturing these advanced rockets. The new facility for Starship Version 3 will be larger to accommodate the bigger size of the rocket. It will be equipped with the latest manufacturing technology, likely including automated systems and robotics, to handle the complex production process efficiently. A second Starship launch pad is under construction at Starbase in South Texas. This facility will allow SpaceX to conduct launches more frequently. SpaceX is actively contributing to NASA's Artemis missions with the objective of bringing humans back to the moon. Their Starship plays a vital role as a lunar lander, tasked with carrying astronauts from NASA's Orion spacecraft orbiting the moon to the lunar surface and back. The Artemis program has faced delays, moving its initial 2024 moon landing goal to no earlier than 2025. This shift is due to various challenges, including technical complexities and funding issues. The first Artemis has already been completed. Artemis II will orbit the moon without landing. Artemis III will use SpaceX's Starship as the lunar lander, intending to make a historic landing with the first woman and the next man on the moon. NASA's choice to invest in Starship is based on several factors. First, Starship is designed to be a fully reusable spacecraft. The reusable nature of Starship could revolutionize lunar travel by significantly reducing the costs of repeat missions. Secondly, Starship's large payload capacity is a major advantage. It can transport more cargo and astronauts compared to other vehicles, making it an ideal choice for the ambitious goals of the Artemis program. This capacity also makes Starship suitable for potential future missions that might require transporting large amounts of equipment and supplies, such as establishing a sustainable human presence on the Moon or even missions to Mars. NASA awarded SpaceX a contract worth $2.9 billion for the development of Starship as the lunar lander. This investment is a significant portion of NASA's budget for the Artemis program, indicating the importance of Starship in the overall mission architecture. Starship will have to execute complex tasks, such as docking with Orion in lunar orbit and transporting astronauts to and from the moon's surface. An important aspect of these missions is in-space refueling, necessary for the lunar lander's journey. SpaceX plans to use a Starship Depot, a fuel storage unit in orbit, refilled by tanker Starships. This setup is crucial for maintaining enough fuel for the lunar lander. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.